not deserve your protection. It's not about deserve. Okay, so what we saw there was Ares using one hand and charging up for about a second and a half of lightning, and he tossed it at her. Wonder Woman didn't flinch, she didn't get shoved back, nothing. She just walked right through it. She absorbed some of it, some of it got deflected. It's about what you believe. And I believe in love. Okay, this time we see Ares using both hands instead of one, and instead of like one and a half seconds of charge, he did like ten full seconds of calling down lightning. And you see the results is that she got like really shoved back and really had to protect herself that time. Uh, so it was considerably more powerful than his standard uncharged attack. My brother. I think we can all agree that that's a pretty big hole and it's smoldering and like literally red hot and it was in like rock and concrete and asphalt and dirt instead of ice. So I would be comfortable putting this on par with anything Thor has done except for the mother of all lightning bolts from Ragnarok of course. And uh, yeah, Wonder Woman deflected it pretty easily, like her bracelets absorbed all of it. It was strong enough also to burn a hole directly through Ares the second it struck him, and Ares is at least as durable as Wonder Woman. I mean, he laughed off her punches earlier when she was just ground and pounding him, so yeah, uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good what she deflects. That's another pretty impressive blocking scene for her. Again, she wasn't shoved back or anything that time, and uh, it seemed to take no damage. And keeping in mind that Doomsday's heat vision is like drastically more powerful than Superman's, as seen by their beam struggle when it pushed right through Superman's and dragged him in a fireball. And uh, Superman's heat vision was powerful enough to cut a skyscraper in half, as seen in Man of Steel when he was fighting Zod. So, pretty good defensive feat. Okay, this is Wonder Woman defending from Doomsday's AoE. Uh, I've slowed it down a little bit so we can get a better look at it. Uh, keep in mind, her shield did not provide full coverage. I mean, like, look at her arms and her legs and just her body in general. is not perfectly defended, although it did take the bulk of it. So that right there... Uh, first of all, it's huge. It covers an enormous area. Doomsday's AoE also like completely raised Striker's Island earlier, and the first time he used it, it tore the tops off a couple of nearby skyscrapers. As you saw there, there were entire like ten-story buildings turning into crump, like just absolute dust. So it's it's pretty powerful. It's as powerful as anything Thor has done, in my opinion. See, her leg is, like, totally exposed. Yeah, she does all right defensively. <laughs> 